Big Ed. If you have no idea who Big Ed is, well, you're pretty much the only one. He's on a very popular show called 90 Day Fiance, where he schmoozed a young Filipino girl to marry her. 90 Day Fiance is a show where American men find women abroad or women find men abroad that they've never met in real life to marry them. Sounds like something that's gonna work out. Now, aside from the obvious fact that this is all going to be a giant disaster in almost every single case, Ed's story in particular grabbed the hearts and the anger sacks of millions and millions of people. Ed kept a couple of really important things from Rose, such as his height. Am I what you expected? Do you like? I expected you are told to me. The fact that he doesn't want to have children, and she does. Child, she wants a girl, and I haven't told her this. I don't want to tell her this, but I want to get, like, nipped. His deep and sensual love affair with mayonnaise. I want to look young for her. I can smell the love in the air already. I've already made one video on this, but in case this is the first one you're seeing, I'll quickly catch you up to speed. Aside from Ed lying about his height and wanting kids, the first day they met, he asked Rose to get an STD test. So there's a test that you can take. I don't know if you understand, it's um, STD, which is like sexually transmitted disease. Consistently berated her about her ex, which is the father of her son. I wanna know, I wanna know, I wanna know where, where Prince's um, dad is. And I'm sorry, you I'm, I'm not you, gonna you, you spend want, the rest of my life with somebody I can't trust. You want, no. Took a shower with Rose's dad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Nice. This has to be the weirdest experience of my life. And told Rose she was probably gonna die because her breath was so bad. And I got you a cute toothbrush. This your breath is not um, pretty. One of the first things I noticed even at the airport you know, was her breath. And I don't think she realizes it, but I do. Do you know that um, my concern is your health? Because if you get disease in your mouth, it goes to your heart. You can get sick. If that ain't love, I don't know what is. He also accused Rose's sister of trying to scam him for money. You know, she asked me for money. Her sister texted me the other night. She basically said, you know, I need help. My store is going to close. And she's asking me for money. Oh, my gosh. So even though Ed has constantly, constantly insulted and belittled and degraded and embarrassed this poor girl, she continues to stay with him and love him. But I want to give Ed another chance to change him behavior. No more rude person. They go on this wonderful vacation where Ed is attacked by monkeys. Oh, oh, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> we were surrounded by probably 10 or 15 monkeys staring at us, staring at me. I mean, look at the terror in this man's eyes. He is so scared of these little monkeys. It's moments like this that I think has made this whole situation go viral in the first place. Freaking weirdo. <laughs> and he's with this girl who seems like a, a nice, she actually seems like a nice, wonderful girl. She continues to give him these chances, but when Ed decides to come clean about not wanting children, well, you can kind of guess what happens. I've raised a daughter. You know, she's 29 and it was a wonderful experience but having more kids is not something that I want. I had scheduled two appointments to have an operation. I can, I, I do, I do not understand. Where they, it's, a, it's a snip snip. That's probably a deal breaker for her. She's 23 years old. She has one child. She wants to move to the United States. I mean, she's going to want kids. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. So this is where things take a slight detour and get a little bit more tense. And as you can imagine, Rose, who has been berated and constantly insulted, has just had enough. I tell you before, right? I tell you I want two kids, but why you not answer me like this? I work very hard for my money. I know. I only have enough love. I only have enough money for you and for Prince. 
Do you still love me? First, he wakes up the next morning to find that Rose is missing. Big shocker. She didn't leave a message with the front desk. I looked all around the hotel, but she's nowhere to be seen. I don't know where she is. But Rose, being the forgiving, caring, understanding, sensible person that she is, decides to come back. Why you not tell me the truth? You not want a baby? Why? What do you mean? Why, I'm, do, Why you not tell me first before you come here? But I wanted to get to know you. I wanted you to get to know me to make sure that we are compatible. We all know what that look says. Bullshit! You first uh, lied to me about height, right? And then you want to give me a um, STD test, right? And mm -hmm. about mat wash and why you tell mm -hmm. me I know I'm, I'm, I have a sick and mm -hmm. I have an ulcer. Mm -hmm. So I'm disappointed because you always embraced me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's what everyone that has been watching this series has been waiting to hear is for Rose to finally stick up for herself and say, Ed, what the flargan dargan is wrong with you, man? I love you and I want to marry you, but you need to get an STD test and you got to do something about that breath. Because if it ain't going to kill you, it's going to kill me. That just makes you want to jump right into bed and curl up with somebody, doesn't it? This guy should start a dating course. I think you you think me like my sister, same. Uh, you think uh, I want your money, not you. You give me feel a little bit person. I think you not love me. I'm done. Good job, Rose. The only bad thing about Rose and Ed being so dramatic and so publicized is that a lot of people are missing out on some of the other really good ones. For instance, Varya and that ex-drug dealer in Russia. Steam room. Oh. So hard. Oh. Hard beating with the bushes. I think it's not. You're not. Oh, I can't. I, I mean, I don't know about you, but to me, that's entertainment. We'll just have to see what comes next for Big Ed and Rose and Varya and uh, ex drug dealer guy. Who, which, let's be honest, who hasn't sold drugs? He seems like a successful guy, so I don't really see what the, what the, he doesn't dabble in the dark arts anymore, so I don't see the problem. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash like, and we'll just have to wait and see what Rose and Ed come up with next. Maybe there's some sweet relish and infidelity hiding in their hotel freezer. I don't know. We'll just have to find out. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. That's a wrap.